is your first alert five weather with Mike Daniels. I want you to see this. Take a look at that cool cat right there. <laughs> Renee posted this on our Facebook page. She says her cat Lewis likes to watch me do the weather on TV. And yes, Lewis appears very captivated right there. Obviously fascinated by the prospect of rain in the forecast for a change. Here's what it looked like in Woodland Park today. Had some snow up on America's Mountain late this afternoon. That will look spectacular after sunrise tomorrow morning. That rain changed to snow in Woodland Park and it piled up quickly. About two inches of wet, heavy snow. Exactly what we needed after the dry spell. Today in Colorado Springs, we picked up eight hundredths of an inch of water. Impressive because that's the most water in one day since the 11th of November. In Pueblo, 13 hundredths of an inch of water today. That's also the most moisture in a 24 hour period since the seventh day of November. Woodland Park picked up that two inches of snow and the ski resorts picked up that white gold. Places like Steamboat five inches, Wolf Creek the big winner, 10 inches of much needed snowfall. Here's what's going on right now. Dry over the springs, dry in Pueblo. We'll stay dry for the rest of the night tonight, but a nice swath of rain and snow out across far southeastern Colorado. I'm watching drier air push in from the northwest right now. That's what's on your weather menu for the rest of the night tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. Wanted to point this out. Watch the yellows and the oranges just east of the Springs in Pueblo. Moderate to even heavy rain falling earlier this afternoon into this evening. That stuff pushing off to the southeast at a quick rate of speed. 11 o'clock tonight already seeing clearing skies between Colorado Springs and Pueblo. That leftover moisture in southeastern Colorado will clear out very quickly after 1 o'clock tomorrow morning. We start with plenty of sunshine, but believe me, it is going to be cold. Dress warmly. Wear something over your head. 24 degrees at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Light breeze out of the north, making it feel even colder than that. 10 a.m. We're right around the freezing mark. Temperatures thaw out nicely during the afternoon hours, but again, with that wind blowing from the north, anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour, it's going to feel colder than that, so you'll need a pretty heavy coat throughout the day. Warm before the storm today. Pueblo 63. That's 16 degrees warmer than what you should have this time of the year. In the springs, we hit 58. That's 15 degrees warmer than where we should be this time of the year. Strong Long gusty wind out of the north from the springs into Pueblo, and it is just screaming out across the eastern border counties. Lamar right now a gust at 49 miles per hour. That wind will gradually start to taper down after midnight tonight. Current temperatures 20s, 30s, and 40s, but factor in that wind, it doesn't feel that warm. Right now in the springs, the wind chill is 18. Pueblo right now, wind chill is 28 degrees. Lows on the thermometer tonight dropping down into the teens and 20s. Afternoon high temperatures tomorrow noticeably colder. We're talking about high tomorrow 15 to almost 20 degrees colder than what we had today and with that north breeze blowing it will feel even colder than that in Colorado Springs the ups and downs of January much colder tomorrow much warmer on Friday we pick up down slope flow coming down the mountains that'll push us up to 53 degrees colder again on Saturday thanks to a front moving in breezy wind will push the high on Sunday up to 49 degrees settling into the 40s Monday and Tuesday and then a nice little spike by next Wednesday sunshine and a high temperature of 54 Four degrees. Pueblo, fasten your seatbelt. Here comes a ride on that weather roller coaster. Noticeably colder tomorrow. Windy out of the west on Friday, making it feel much warmer. 58 the afternoon high. Don't get used to that. It'll be noticeably colder Saturday. You'll warm up nicely with the downslope flow on Sunday. Temperatures by next Wednesday, mostly sunny and 60 degrees. That's something to look forward to right there. And for Canyon City, I've got you dry for the next seven days. Temperatures pretty consistent into the 40s and 50s. And for Woodland Park, you got a nice shot of snow tonight. That'll have to last you for a while. It'll start to melt tomorrow. Windy warmer on Friday. Next slight chance of seeing any moisture comes next Tuesday with a developing storm. I'll watch that closely and keep everybody posted, guys.